Welcome back to the adventures of Hitmonkey. If you watched our previous video then you must be curious about the strange lady at the end. Well, we will jump right into it. Episode 7 opens as a zookeeper is feeding capybaras and other animals at the zoo. When she gets to the monkeys, she is shocked to her core. All the monkeys have passed away and as the camera pans out, we see that their bodies are laid in such a way that they make a bullseye sign. This only means that someone is threatening Hit Monkey. After that, Hit Monkey and Bryce are meeting the monk again because everything is over and Bryce still hasn't gone. The monk says nothing and goes away as he keeps eating potato chips. While walking, he takes some salt from the packet of chips and throws it on the ground which traps Bryce on the other side. As Bryce is trapped, he tells Hit Monkey that Bryce is beholden to Hit Monkey and not the other way around. He also mentions that Hit Monkey needs to lead the way and also that Bryce might be a demon, because only demons get trapped by salt. Listening to this, Hit Monkey realizes that he needs to take action and make his own moves. Meanwhile, Ido and Haruka are at the zoo and they see that the monkeys are hit with all kinds of sharp items. It almost looks like this was done by someone who had a perfect aim and threw objects at the monkeys like throwing darts at a bullseye. Hakura then sees that all these monkeys were eating the same fruits that she saw at Akiko's house earlier. She now realizes that Akiko has hit monkey in her house and that they need to go there. Then, while Bryce is puking because of the salt, Hit Monkey sees the footage of what happened to the monkeys at the zoo. Bryce sees that their bodies are laid to look like a bullseye target and realizes something. He gets so scared that he instantly tells Hit Monkey that they need to go and prepare because the deadliest assassin is now after Hit Monkey. Turns out, the lady we saw in the last episode is an assassin and her name is Lady Bullseye. Her thing is that she has perfect aim and can attack anyone with almost everything around her. As Hit Monkey prepares all the guns, Bryce explains that she is the top assassin and no one is as skilled and evil as her. While it is clear that Bullseye is the greatest assassin out there, Akiko comes in and Hit Monkey points guns at her. Akiko is scared at first but then tells Hit Monkey to leave her alone because she is mad. Ito and Haruka are also about to come inside the house but Haruka sees that Bullseye is standing on top of a house behind them. With a press of a button, she straight up blows Akiko's entire house. Hit Monkey wakes up from the bomb and tries to save Akiko. He sees her hand but instantly gets hit with a sharp pin and gets nailed to a wall. Bullseye comes in and before she can finish off Hit Monkey, Hakura tries to arrest her. Bullseye throws a sharp hairpin towards Haruka as well but Ito jumps in and gets hit in the chest. Bullseye then realizes that Hit Monkey has escaped and she starts to chase him. Hit Monkey keeps running on buildings until he breaks a window and lands inside a random house. Bull's Yes comes right and throws the broken glass at Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey shoots all the pieces of glass mid-air and a shard scratches Bullseye's face. She gets even angrier when she sees that Hit Monkey is standing on top of a train and has escaped. While on top of the train, Bryce points out that Hit Monkey is doing nothing that he says and is doing whatever he wants. It is because the monk told him that he needs to lead the way. Just then, Lady Bullseye comes back on a bike and starts to throw all kinds of random sharp objects toward Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey jumps on a car as she keeps following them. Meanwhile, Manzo is there and he is delivering balloons. He got tired of everything and got a normal job to start over and get a normal life. Hit Monkey jumps on top of a truck while dodging all the attacks. Bullseye cuts some pipes that fall right in front of the truck as it flips. Unfortunately, the truck falls right on top of Manzo's car and he gets crushed. Hit Monkey goes flying and Bullseye hits him in mid-air but he also manages to shoot her bike's tire. Bullseye crashes right into the flipped truck and a huge explosion occurs while Hit Monkey falls into the water. The rescue team comes and they manage to save Manzo who is in severe condition now and just wants to pass away. Poor guy can't catch a break. They also find Bullseye who is still alive and we see Haruka taking Ido to the hospital. Hit Monkey is unconscious and Bryce gets worried while saying that he has been alone his whole life and that Hit Monkey might have been his only friend. He eventually wakes up and Bryce is relieved but Hit Monkey walks away to check if Akiko is fine. In the hospital, Haruka gets the news that Ido didn't make it. She is heartbroken as she sees Akiko in the hospital bed and gets angry. Hit Monkey then comes in secretly and looks at Akiko while he starts to think that all this is Bryce's fault. He actually thinks that Bryce is a demon who did all of this by taking out Ken. They eventually walk inside a restaurant where he traps Bryce inside a bathroom with salt. He apologizes many times while claiming that he is not a demon but Hit Monkey walks away. He goes back to the mountains where he used to live and sees that there is another monkey tribe living there. The episode ends here. If you're thinking what would happen next then stop thinking because we are covering the next episode as well. Episode 8 starts as we see Hit Monkey putting his suit and gun away. He looks at the new tribe and a random owl tells him that they moved in as soon as Hit Monkey left. 
He then sees a small monkey getting jumped by an evil monkey tribe called the Red Stripes. He saves the kid whose name is Koji. Koji goes back to his tribe and asks his alpha monkey if Hip Monkey can stay there. After careful consideration, the alpha and all the other monkeys decide to let him stay because of how he saved Koji. Meanwhile, a janitor comes in and starts to clean up the salt but that only messes up Bryce even more. Bryce starts to glitch and we see his past before he became a hitman. His mother kept bringing in different boyfriends home every now and then until Bryce grew up and met a girl named Haley. They instantly fall in love and eventually, Bryce and Haley have a daughter named Iris. One day, his mother brings in a man named Eli who seems very nice. They both get along very well and fix a truck together. But Bryce finds a gun and a mask inside his truck. Eli explains that he got mixed up with some bad people and that he will never do anything to hurt Bryce's family. Bryce also understands this and thinks Eli is a good man. Hit Monkey and Koji come back from the woods when they see that the Alpha is injured. The Red Stripes attack the Alpha because their pond went cold and they wanted this one. They all almost leave it and go away but Hit Monkey stops them and says that they need to fight for their home and they all agree on doing this. Bryce and Haley are in an amusement park when they take pictures in a booth. They choose a picture of a big city and Haley says that she wants to go to a big city and live there. Bryce says that they need big money for that and besides, they are happy here. While walking back to their truck, two gang members attack them and ask where Elvin is because they have his truck. Bryce explains that they know a man named Eli and they are using his truck. To get rid of them, Bryce lies that Eli took their money and left and all they have is his truck. The gang members believe that because Eli double-crossed them too. On the other hand, the Red Stripes come and ask them to leave but they retaliate as a fight begins. They seem to be winning until something horrible happens. A Red Stripe attacks Hit Monkey but Koji comes and saves Hit Monkey. But, the Red Stripe gets up and hits Koji with a rock. Other monkeys come in to check on Koji but the little monkey passes away. They yell at Hit Monkey because he told them that no one would get hurt. Hit Monkey walks away and the Red Stripes corner all of the monkeys. The Alpha of the Red Stripes talks about how they would never hurt a kid but they were forced to do it. While he is talking, we see that Hit Monkey is back in his suit as he shoots the Alpha Red Stripe. He falls into the water as all the Red Stripes run away. But when he comes closer, he sees that the rest of the monkeys are scared of him as well. He realizes that wherever he goes people around him always get hurt because of him. Now, Eli is leaving the house with a lot of money and Bryce's mother does not let him walk out. He pushes her away as she hits her head and falls down unconscious. Bryce walks in with a gun pointed at him. Eli tries to manipulate his way through this and tells Bryce that whatever he has heard is wrong. He comes closer to him and tries to snatch the gun but gets accidentally shot by Bryce. In his last breaths, Eli tells him that the gangsters will now come after Bryce and his family. Bryce falls to the ground and starts to cry while Hit Monkey is doing the same thing. The Alpha appears in Hit Monkey's imagination and tells him that he needs to wear the suit because it is his destiny to become a Hit Monkey that hurts only bad people. Hit Monkey then finds the actual body of Bryce in the snow and gives him and Koji a proper burial. Bryce leaves his wife and daughter big money while he goes away saying that he is running so they don't have to. Hit Monkey goes back to the toilet where he sees that Bryce is messed up because of what the janitor did to the salt. They both now realize how much they mean to each other and Hit Monkey removes the salt as they walk away. Bryce apologizes and says Hit Monkey deserves a better mentor while also mentioning that the election is in a few weeks so they have time to make their next move. But Hit Monkey sees that on the screen, the election between Shinji and Oziu is in less than 24 hours because both of them have been gone longer than they realize. Here, this episode ends. Now you must be thinking about where Bullseye is or what they will do next. Well, keep thinking and stay tuned because we will cover the next episodes in our next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Welcome back to the Monkey Mayhem. You must be wondering what Hit Monkey and Bryce will do after the ending of the last episode in our previous video. Well, let's just jump into it. At the start of episode 9, police are chasing Hit Monkey and Bryce because they think that Hit Monkey is a big time criminal. They fool the police by hiding in a stall that is filled with fake Hit Monkey masks. This also shows that he is going famous. After that, both of them go to Akiko's blown up house to find any weapon they can. Haruka shows up and they get worried for a second but Akiko is with them and she mentions that Haruka is now on their side. They sit down and Haruka reveals that inside the rooster's box, there are all kinds of dark secrets about Tokyo's biggest gangsters. She finds a pen that has a recording of someone ordering the hit. That someone is a man named the Bonsai Master and he is the final man who ordered the hit on Ken. This means that the Bonsai Master ordered the rooster who then went to the accountant and so on. Akiko says that they need to stop him and the police aren't going to do anything. Hit Monkey growls which means that he is in. 
While going in a car, Haruka mentions that there is a party for Oziyu's campaign at the Bonsai Master S house. After giving Hit Monkey his katana back, they drop him off at the Bonsai Master's house. Meanwhile, Lady Bullseye also knows about this party and she is getting a nice dress from the tailor. She sees a picture of Hit Monkey and sees that Bryce is right next to him in the picture. The tailor explains that the monkey insisted to be next to him. Bullseye knows Bryce because he was also an assassin. She also speculates that Hit Monkey is somehow with Bryce even though Bryce passed away. Hit Monkey and Bryce break into the house but Bryce vanishes for a few seconds. Hit Monkey is worried but he comes back and explains that he does not know what's going on but he is ignoring it and hoping it will go away. They see an armed guard but they go away before he notices them. They go further inside and notice nothing unusual until multiple ninjas emerge out of nowhere. Oziyu is now with the Bonsai Master. Shinji seems to be winning but Bonsai Master tells him to calm down because there is an hour left and he ensures that Oziyu will win. An injured ninja walks in and informs them that the monkey is here. He tells the ninja to take Oziyu to safety while claiming that he can defend himself. Lady Bullseye is then at the monk's temple and claims that she is there because she knows Hit Monkey came here. She starts to attack the monk who claims that she will pass away in this fight. But she wins the fight the monk explains that she will pass away in her fight with Hit Monkey and the ghost. Listening to this, she realizes that Bryce must be a ghost now and that she needs to use salt. She then goes away after finishing off the monk. Then there is an awesome montage where Hit Monkey takes all the ninjas by himself with his katana. They go further inside where they see a samurai. The samurai is the bonsai master himself trying to take out Hit Monkey. He starts to attack Hit Monkey and even wounds him as he thinks that this might be his last fight. Bonsai Master is overpowered but Bryce somehow touches a tree branch and breaks it with his ghost hand. This weakens Bonsai Master for some reason. He attacks Hit Monkey in a fit of rage as he moves out of the way and the Bonsai Master cuts the entire tree. He is very weak now as Hit Monkey attacks him and wins the fight. He says a very specific dialogue before passing away. Meanwhile, Haruka is trying to control the crowd outside of the Prime Minister's building. A mutant medieval warrior named Silver Samurai materializes and claims that he will protect everyone. A police officer says that he is the sworn protector of the Prime Minister which is why he is here. While he yaps about how he will make Tokyo peaceful again, Yuki comes from the sky and claims to restore peace by protecting the Prime Minister as well. Inside the building, Akiko is pleased when the results come in and Shinji wins. Akiko goes inside the washroom to take a minute and process all this. She is crying because of how happy she is. Lady Bullseye walks in and insists that she will fix Akiko's makeup Akiko does not know that she is the legendary assassin Bullseye. Then, Bryce and Hit Monkey are going to meet with Oziyu. Bryce claims that he feels like he is finally ascending and going to the afterlife because of how he has been vanishing and then coming back. They then see Oziyu and he knows that the monkey is here to end him. But he claims that he did not tell the Bonsai Master to assassinate Ken, because he was already 10 points up. He claims that someone else was with Bonsai Master and that he is benefiting the most. Bryce also realizes that all Ken's assassination did was open doors for Shinji. This is the biggest plot twist because Shinji is the root of this whole thing. In his victory speech, Shinji says the specific line that the Bonsai Master said in his last breath and the episode ends. Is Shinji the main villain? How about we find out right now as we cover the series finale in this video as well. In the last episode, Bryce and Hit Monkey are walking as they plan what they will do. Their plan is very simple because all they have to do is go through a lot of police officers and special forces, fight two ancient Japanese superheroes, get on top of the most secured and heavily guarded building, fight Lady Bullseye in the way and if they are lucky enough to survive all this, take out the Prime Minister and finish this for good. Bryce calls Yuki because she is the only one who can see him. She gets mad at first but he mentions that the monkey needs help and she instantly agrees to help. They meet in an alley where Bryce translates what Hit Monkey says and Yuki tells all that to Haruka who is shocked to know that Shinji is the one who did all of this. She is also shocked to know that the monkey always had a ghost with him. She agrees to do what must be done without telling Akiko. Haruka tries to sneak in Hit Monkey but Silver Samurai finds out. He starts to attack Hit Monkey but before he can do anything, Yuki comes and saves Hit Monkey. Silver Samurai already hated Yuki and now he is furious. Inside the building, Shinji feels guilty and knows that the monkey is here to finish him. Akiko claims that Hit Monkey is here to save him without knowing what Shinju has done. Bullseye also walks in and says that she is waiting for Hit Monkey to come. Outside the building, Fat Cobra comes back to save Hit Monkey. He hits Silver Samurai while delivering a dope one-liner that if you mess with the monkey, you get the cobra. He instantly smacks Silver Samurai and knocks him out. 
He then picks up Hitmonkey and throws him on top of the building so that he can directly go to Shinji and finish the job. But he does not make it all the way and starts to fall. Lucky for him, Yuki comes flying and saves him in midair. Meanwhile, Bullseye is with Shinji and she claims that she won't hurt him because he is technically her boss since the Bonsai Master hired her. She is simply there because she knows Hitmonkey is coming for Shinji and she wants the monkey. Yuki is flying Hitmonkey to the top while Silver Samurai is attacking them. He comes on top of a building and throws a katana at them that almost hits him. Turns out, Bro can teleport and he starts to chase them while teleporting on the building. In addition, Fat Cobra starts to jump on the building and joins the fight. During this chaos, Yuki drops Hit Monkey, but he eventually finds a rope and lands on a lower floor. They go in an elevator to go on top and finish the job. As soon as the elevator opens, Bullseye hits him with a scissor and claims that now she will finally finish her job. But Haruka walks in and before she can shoot Bullseye, she hits her and knocks her out but Hit Monkey runs away. Bullseye finds Hit Monkey inside who punches her and runs away. But she takes out a tooth and throws that toward Hit Monkey and it hits him. She then throws salt in the fans and Bryce gets hit with it. Because of the salt, Bryce starts to get a physical form and everyone can see him now. While Akiko takes Shinji to a helicopter to get him and Hit Monkey gets pinned down, Bryce throws more salt on him even though it hurts him very much. He starts to fight Bullseye while Hit Monkey goes away to take care of Shinji. Bryce gets beaten, but turns into a great distraction as Haruka comes in and shoots Bullseye multiple times. Bryce also gets shot but it doesn't matter since he is a ghost. Bryce and Haruka meet for the first time here. On the roof, Shinji confesses and reveals everything. He says that Ken would have lost and Ozu would win so did it to make the good people win. He thought it was the right thing to do because he didn't know anyone other than Ken would get hurt. Akiko still wants to protect him but Hit Monkey comes there with a gun. Akiko stands in front of him and Haruka and Bryce also tell Hit Monkey to not do it. Bryce explains that no matter what, they need to do the right thing and arrest Shinji. Bryce starts to finally ascend and goes to the afterlife because he now realizes that he had to do the right thing all along. He tells Hit Monkey to take care as he finally goes to the afterlife. Haruka arrests Shinji but he takes out her gun to attack them. Hit Monkey sees this and shoots Shinji right at the spot. Akiko does not realize this and gets extremely angry at Hit Monkey as Haruka forces him to run away. After burying the gun Bryce gave him, Haruka sneaks Hit Monkey out of Tokyo in a suitcase. Hit Monkey is then in a random place. He is seen drinking too much because he is missing Bryce. Suddenly, he hears Bryce's voice and gets excited. Bryce explains that he finally went to the afterlife and from the way he talks, it seems like he straight up went to hell. He says there was fire and dragons everywhere but he met the demon as well. He cut a deal with the devil to come back here to help Hit Monkey. He cares for him so he came back for more adventures. In the end, Akiko sees the body of Bullseye and takes her mask. She wears the mask and becomes the next Lady Bullseye. Here, the last episode of this awesome series ends. Now, there are still some unanswered questions so we will have to wait for the next season which has not been released yet. Thanks for watching.